Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the Canon Vixia HF-R52, um, how to use an SD card with it as opposed to using the internal memory. So the first thing we'll do is just turn it on. So you just open the unit up, and then what it will do is in a couple of seconds it'll warn me. It tells me that my lens cover is not open. Oops. Grab that with your thumb. That opens up the lens cap. Now we're in shoot mode. So you've got this little house here on the left hand side. You click on your little house. That brings you, you to all of your tools like your formatting and everything else that's involved with this. So what we'll do is we're just going to click on this little film strip with the gearbox on it and that's your recording setup. Click on that again and that brings you to a whole selection of different things. In this case you've got your movie format so you can decide whether you want to use AVC HD or MP4. In this particular case, I'm using MP4, just because that's an easier format to deal with. You've got your video quality. Depending on where you've got this set, will change how much time you have left to, to be able to shoot. So usually, I'll, I'll go like in a high quality or standard. I'll almost never use long play, because long play usually gives you pretty substandard results. So standard is usually fine. Full quality, HD. Now I'm going to change the recording media, and you have a choice of two. One for photos, and seeing as this isn't a photo camera, I generally don't even worry about that anyways. The one we're going to deal with here is the media for movies. You can see it's got that little computer chip looking thing, which indicates that this is now using the internal memory. So I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to change it to SD. So it should warn me in a second here that there's no memory card. Conveniently enough, I have one. So you open up the little door on the side, slide the card in until it clicks, then close the door. In this case, it's telling me it cannot record on this memory card. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back to my little toolbox because this particular card must not be formatted. And I will work my way down through. Whoops, I'm going to hit the wrench. Sorry about that. I'm ahead of myself work my way down through, go to initialize, and then I'm going to do the memory card. Oops, I have my thumb in the way, sorry about that. Initialize. I'm going to do a complete initialization on this one. And hit my yes. I'll let it go right through and once that initializes the card, the card will be ready to uh, to shoot with. If you don't do the complete initialization, it tends to go a little bit quicker. But if I've got a card and it's got questionable format on it, who knows what they formatted on last time around, it's always best to just, you know, do it from ground up. Then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now I've got that. Hit my little X. Go back to my home again. Now I got my little TV set in the gearbox. I'm going to click on that again. My recording media, which is already set for SD. I just want to go back to that to verify. So now this is ready, and you can see the little green symbol there. It says that it's, it's in SD. I've got four hours to shoot. My battery, unfortunately, only has 16 minutes left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around so that you can see us videotaping us. And I've got a, I'll roll a couple of seconds of this. And then when I'm done rolling a couple of seconds of this, I'll hit my trigger button again, and that stops it. And now what I'm going to do is there's a power button on the side of it going to hit that, that powers it off, and then I'll take my card out and put it into a card reader. In this particular case, I've got a Mac here, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it right into the slot that's on the Mac. And if you've got the Mac, it may uh, open it up in iPhoto for you. It all depends on what you want to do. 
You can also just X that out and then open up the card itself, which is what I prefer to do. I'd rather have uh, control on these things myself without having to have the machine use any of it. Now I'll go into the DCIM. My machine's very slow, so it takes a little while for some of these things to wake up. It opens up into another folder. Open that up. Once again, there's something there. My machine's just so old that it's not showing it until it really gets around to seeing it and feeling like it. And then I just take my file and drag it to my desktop. So in this case, it should be right down here. And I've got to I'll roll a couple of seconds of this. And then when I'm done rolling a couple of seconds of this, I'll hit my... So you can hear the audio on that. Okay, and the PC, I don't have a card reader, so I had to just put an external card reader on it. Log that in. And then I get this. So I'm going to go ahead and open that window once again. It's got the DCIM. And then it gives me another internal folder. You can see this machine's quite a bit quicker. And I've got to roll a couple of seconds of this. Nice, eh? So when I'm done rolling a couple of seconds of this, I'll hit my... And that's it. And I've got to I'll roll a couple of seconds of this. Now. And that's all that it takes to bring those files over onto the machine. So what I can do with that... So I can drag that off onto the desktop, or if I want, I can add that to my uh, YouTube page, whatever you, whatever you need to do at this point with the file. Throw it into a Google Drive, your choice.